Hey guys, so what we got going on today is I finally got my, I don't know what you want to call it, beaker setup thingy. So what I wanted to do was we're going to measure some viscosity of different stuff. So what I'm going to start with, what we're going to use for a control is this diesel fuel. Sorry, I just sat in the camera up and I was looking at my phone because I got my, I got the preview on there. So anyways, um, we're gonna start with diesel fuel as our control and then we're going to do uh, biodiesel, which I'll go and grab in a second. Um, we're gonna do the control as this. We're gonna do the biodiesel that I have that Darren gave us. I don't have on my own here, so we'll use his. Basically it'll be the same. We do it the same process. We are going to do vegetable oil, or this is the vegetable oil 50-50 mix, uh, the black diesel, how I mix it, and then engine oil. And then I might maybe see about pulling a sample of used engine oil out of my container, which I know will be 90%, um, will be 90% 1540 or 2050, because that's primarily what I use is 1540 or 2050. So, <clears throat> I guess we can do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill everyone up to the same point. And I think the point will be, I think I'm just gonna do the bottom of this ring here. Hopefully you guys can see my, see where I'm pointing here. I'm gonna do this just to the bottom of this ring uh, because no point filling it right up, I don't think. So anyways, we're gonna do that first. We're gonna do the control as diesel fuel and then we will um, do all the rest of them. So. I'm gonna stop it for a minute just here and then we'll come back. I just gotta grab a couple things and see if maybe if I can find a funnel. Okay. So we're gonna start off with diesel fuel. I got some used engine oil. This stuff is directly out of my used oil thing. So 1540, 2050, whatever it may be. Um, and then I got some ATF fluid. I got biodiesel from Darren uh, and all the other stuff that we talked about before. So, we are going to start with diesel fuel. So I have a funnel, which is way too long, but it's the only thing I could find that would fit inside there. So, see if I can do this without making a huge mess everywhere. So I see the beaker isn't perfectly, or whatever you call it, I don't know if you call this a beaker or not. Let's get something to set this on here so it doesn't, I want it to leak out, but I don't want it to leak all over the place. Let's see what we got here. Okay, the drip's out. So on this side, it's perfectly level with the top of this. It's just that it's not perfectly level in there. We, yeah, it won't move, so that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is start the camera and turn that at the same time. This isn't gonna be like a perfect science per se thing, but best that I can do for now without buying thousands of dollars worth of equipment, which I don't really wanna do to do this. This will give us a general idea. So, see how we can do this here. I guess I can actually just start this. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna start this camera, and then when I'm editing it, when the fluid hits the bottom, or when I first turn the valve on, so valve on now, and we'll measure it. So, I would imagine that some of this is gonna go into time lapse for you guys because it's gonna take quite a while. This is one of the thinner ones that's going through. So for us to do every one of these, it'll take a long time, but we'll see. And I'll put it up here as, it, as soon as it's empty, okay? So that was the diesel fuel. And I think what I'm gonna do is just let it sit for a couple seconds and, drip out 
I don't think a little tiny bit of contamination is not going to hurt us anyway because we're going thin as to thick anyway. So, you know, a drop of diesel fuel in there, I don't think is going to really, is going to really hurt us per se. So that's how much we got out of that. I guess if I had, if I had a cup actually would have worked better. I don't think I had anything though we could use. Ah, well, we'll just keep doing it this way. All right, so that was diesel fuel. Now we are gonna go on to biodiesel. We'll do the same thing with biodiesel. Guess if I overfill it, I can only just empty a little bit out. Yeah, I overfilled it just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just empty a little tiny bit out. There we go. Put that drain off. So this is biodiesel. Start the camera. And on. Biodiesel is definitely going to be a little thicker, I think. Just from pouring it in there and monkeying with it before, it's going to be a little thicker than the diesel fuel. But we'll see. If any of you guys want a setup like this, um, let me know in the comments. If you do, I will put um, links. And it's a I will put links to it in the description if you guys want. Um, it's up to you. Just let me know in the comments if you want. If you want me to. If you do, I will. If you don't, I won't. Ah, actually, I shouldn't say that because then if guys are asking later, you know what? I'm just going to put the links in the description for this and this. They weren't that expensive. Uh, I did actually order a couple other things that have graduated cylinders and stuff, but they won't be here for two weeks, so I didn't want to wait two weeks because, you know, I didn't want to wait two weeks. Okay, so that is biodiesel. So next one is going to be veg oil and diesel fuel. really wish I had a shorter funnel. Gonna drain the excess off. There we are. Let the little tube drain out. down I do have these for any of you guys that like using these things if you would like to help support the channel you can buy this stuff off Amazon you can go to my Amazon affiliate store thing that I've set up um, and buy any of that stuff I don't personally sell that stuff it's actually just stuff that I've linked for stuff that I use so anyways if you're interested all right so we're gonna start for this is 50% veg oil 50% diesel fuel and Go. This one is definitely thicker than those two, I would say.
So I got a couple of cheap syringes. Wow, well, a whole bunch of cheap syringes actually. Okay, so uh, got this. Oh, I did already. That's drained out, not bad. So we got that one turned off. I will put that back in here. See if I can't make a mess. there and get it make them a big mess so the next one we are going to do our black diesel which this is the mixture I used to use which was 50% used engine oil right yeah 50% used engine oil 20% gas I just want to make sure that I tell you guys right and 30% diesel fuel all right I think actually for this one when I go to do it I'm going to actually put this back in there so we're not getting that jar dirty about dirtier than it already is. So, I'm just gonna go a touch too much. I drain for a second. That. I'm just going to drain it off so we're at the right level. Okay, there we are. So our next one is our camera and off. This one's flowing, I would say, better than the veg oil. Now that was veg and half diesel fuel, so 50-50 mix. Which I ran that a bunch. I ran it with engine oil in it, or with. So we're gonna start off with diesel fuel. I got some used engine oil. This stuff is directly out of my used oil thing, so 1540, 2050, whatever it may be. Um, and then I got some ATF fluid. I got biodiesel from Darren. Uh, and all the other stuff that we talked about before. So, we are going to start with diesel fuel. So I have a funnel, which is way too long, but it's the only thing I could find that would fit inside there. So, see if I can do this without making a huge mess everywhere. So I see the beaker isn't perfectly, or whatever you call it, I don't know if you call this a beaker or not. Let's get something to set this on here so it doesn't, I want it to leak out, but I don't want it to leak all over the place. Let's see what we got here. Okay, the drip's out. So on this side, it's perfectly level with the top of this. It's just that it's not perfectly level in there. If we, yeah, it won't move, so that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is start the camera and turn that at the same time. This isn't gonna be like a perfect science per se thing, but best that I can do for now without buying thousands of dollars worth of equipment, which I don't really wanna do to do this. This will give us a general idea. So, see how we can do this here. I guess I can actually just start this. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna start this camera, and then when I'm editing it, when the fluid hits the bottom, or when I first turn the valve on, so valve on now, and we'll measure it. So, 
I would imagine that some of this is going to go into time lapse for you guys because it's going to take quite a while. This is one of the thinner ones is going through. So for us to do every one of these, it'll take a long time, but we'll see. And I'll put it up here as, it, as soon as it's empty. Okay. So that was the diesel fuel. And I think what I'm All right, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit more um, about what we were just doing. Uh, I did finish the video and then realized I wanted to talk a little bit more. So this is gonna be a longer video, but for you guys who wanna watch it, you wanna watch it, if you don't, you don't. Anyways, so now, so we went through and did um, the diesel fuel, the biodiesel that I have, which I've already emptied the container out, ATF fluid, 530 engine oil, and then the heavy duty, the 1540, 50, 2050, could be some ATF fluid, I don't know, whatever. You know, like something you would probably get from a heavy duty shop kind of idea um, as a test. So, and I'll, I'll do a little bit of intermittent in here kind of with the videos from my phone on here the, on the length of it and all that stuff. So it's kind of gonna be broke up a little bit. Hopefully you guys like this type of video. We'll find out, I guess. Um, but what I wanted to say was talking about viscosity is the viscosity side of things is that you want to get the viscosity the same so that the, so the injector injection system can either one move the fuel and atomize the fuel properly. So as soon as you take it into this now technically it's not engine oil, you're using it as a fuel. So you need to get the consistency, I should say consistency, viscosity in the ballpark at least. And that's the reason that what a lot of guys do is they heat vegetable oil or they'll heat the used engine oil to bring the temperature up so it atomizes properly. Do you have to do that? No, you don't have to, but the truck will run better. So, and I like to make it so, yeah, okay, it's not, you know, if you put some gas in it, you put some diesel fuel in it, yeah, it's not free per se, but the vegetable oil side of things, um, running it uh, un or straight with no additive in it, I don't think I've ever one, done it at 100% thinking about it. I've done it like with a little bit of diesel fuel and a little bit of gas and done it that way. But I don't think like uh, like Jeff and Nate and some of you other guys, but just Jeff and Nate I've talked to about it. And I'm gonna actually do a video of uh, Jeff's setup. He sent me a couple little videos, so we're gonna put something together for that, just so you guys can see his setup. I'll probably do that at the same time as I do my setup. So I'll do a short review on my setup and then I'll do a short review on his setup. If any of you guys do have a setup for doing this, um, let me know down in the descriptions and you send me an email at cutteruprob at outlook.com. I'll put it here. Um, and if you have a short video or it can be a longer video, but you know, let's say five to eight minutes talking about maybe your, your settling system and how you run it through your truck or car, whatever it may be, um, hit me down below and, and in, e in an email, please. So hit me down below and send me an email. Anyways, um, we're gonna call it good for now. And remember, it's not rocket science.